Howdy, hey, y'all, nerds here with another video if you're viewing entertainment. So, um, yeah, we are back in the Sims 3 Living the, Living the Dream Challenge, and, uh, I fixed, um, Tony's hair, and I put the chairs back, and I got rid of, uh, the wedding stuff. So, and I'm probably gonna have to put it back soon, because as soon as we can get Sonata engaged to somebody, uh, then we're gonna have another wedding. There's going to be a double wedding with Sonata and nerds. So, yeah. So, in the last episode, Sonata got her heart broken. <laughs> and apparently she's fighting with Mick. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go straight into it. Nerds is almost done writing. Yay. And once she is finished, then she will... Once she is finished, this, she will have finished the writer's goal for this series and real quick I need to check and make sure I have the age thing right for this because I always forget to check that uh, yes I do okay <coughs> uh, I always forget to check that So, Tony is making, uh, dinner. <laughs> so, anyway. Mick, why don't you come and... I don't know what I want you to do. But you... Oh, hey. So, you've let off steam. So, he's gonna go lecture the children real quick. And Sonata... There's one deuce left. Why don't you have it? Mm, mm, mm. Come on, hurry up, you're almost done. You're so close to being done. So close. Come on. You can do it. Let's, uh, are you finished cooking yet? No. Come on, you were so close. Oh, I know that face. I've worn that face several times. How are you doing anything? The computer's not on. Yes! Yes! We finished! The book is done! She just penned her first novel! Easily. Writing a novel is never, is never, is never easy. It's never easy. Yep, that's me. Yay! So, nerds, what you need to do, come and jam out. Well, let's, uh, let's all come eat. Mick, when you get home, you can grab a bowl. But, uh, yeah. Nerds, after you eat, we want you to come and jam out. So that's cool. Anyway, so, for once ever, for the first time ever, uh, we're starting not at the morning. So, when morning does roll around mm. um mm. we're gonna mm. i talked to the real life sonata and what she <laughs> wants to do she doesn't want to split up connor and his girlfriend and you know thinking about it you never want to da date a co-worker it never ends out well mm. so I'm what we're going to do is we're going to have her Find uh, this guy, Grady Elfman. <laughs> so now that you're done, you need to go take care of yourself. Uh, you actually, I think you're okay, actually. So yeah, we'll have her come to bed. Uh, let's sleep.
And uh, I want to check real quick. I have the original copy of the rules for this right here. And I want to see if I wrote anywhere in the rules about aging. So let's see. Let's, uh, Okay, it's on country good. Oh, coming happened. So, yay! Mix set the uh, children straight. All the parents and teachers wrote in to express their gratitude for you taking the time to threaten the school children with disciplinary acts. And here's a raise for your valid efforts. Yay! What song is this? I don't know what song this is, but... Like, I recognize it, but I can't recall the name, but, uh... What I'm thinking I want to do is, um, there is no rule about aging Sims up before their birthday. But here's what I'm thinking that I want to do. I want, I want to, like, I don't feel comfortable aging them up before their birthday without them all aging up at once, and, like, they can't age- Oh, wow, I got some moves, but, like, they can't all age up to the adult stage to have kids until, um, they're all married, and I don't want them to, uh, so what I'm gonna do is once they're all married, I'm going to age them all up, so they're kind of still on the same track and also on the same track with their spouses, so we'll do that, and then, uh, we'll bring the kids- into play. I love how like when you get close to the speaker the music comes clear and then like when you move away you can't hear it. So Mick, what I want you to do is come go to bed. So yeah, come and sleep. And nerds, I want you to come and go to sleep. Well, I need you to come and use the bathroom first. Use that, and then you can shower in the morning. We'll just have you go to bed. I'm gonna turn the speaker off for you. So we're going to plan for the wedding to be Saturday, but first we're going to have to get um. Sonata engaged because um me and Sonata were talking and she wanted uh her and me to have a uh, a double wedding which honestly will uh will kind of like either be less stressful or more stressful <laughs> than before so they're all asleep uh I will come back to you Okay, so it is current. Okay, so it is currently four something a.m. and Sonata has decided that she wants to go paint because she's well rested. <laughs> but no, what I want you to do is I want you to come and uh, first of all, uh, get a shower and then. Use the bathroom. And then wash your hands. And then come get breakfast. <coughs> Just uh, have a quick meal, have a, have some cereal. And then what I want her to do after that 
is I want her to call. Wrong thing. I want her to call this guy and see if he wants to hang out. Fight him over. And if he can come over, then I want her to take off work. Because, you know, she's been working really hard. She, she deserves to take some time off. And, uh... Points. Hmm. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what I want her to do. And, uh, sorry if you can... Here, my mom sounds like she's, uh, she's shaving some ice. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I will be back when something interesting happens. Okay, so it is morning. And, uh, didn't mean to do that. No! <laughs> uh, let's see. Carpool for Tony will come in about an hour. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, Carpool for Tonight will come about in an hour. About an hour. Uh, no, I'm not updating anything. Uh. Actually, what I, what I want you to do, after you come, and, uh, take some unpaid time off. Just take one day off. You're not gonna go for the carpool. You're gonna stop eating, you're gonna call, take unpaid time off. So the carpool for Mick will come in about an hour. Um, so I want you to do that, and then I'll let you finish eating. So yeah, just do that, and then eat cereal. Because either way, Sonata really needs to de-stress today. Either way. So, nerds, what are you doing? You are taking a shower. You can come down and get some food. So, Sonata has requested for un... Okay, so her time off has been approved. So she's not going to work today. Tony just going straight to work? Yep, she overslept. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Nerd is coming down for some breakfast. And after you eat... I want you to see if you can adopt a pet yet. Wait, you know what? Let me, I have my phone right here. Let me Google and see how long. Okay, so let's see. How long after pets are taken away in Sims 3? Can you get them back? Scream! <laughs> so... Um... Mm -hmm. <laughs> A movie! <laughs> Mm. Let's see, I can't figure it out. Okay. Uh... Doesn't say how long. So wait, if you can go to Oh. 
<laughs> okay, doesn't say how long we have to wait, but let's uh, let's just call and see. <laughs> um, so what are you doing? You are on your computer. So what? So she, uh, I guess you just gussied herself up in my mirror. <laughs> so she feels good. She feels attractive. So Sonata, actually what I want you to do is I want you, ooh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I didn't name Lisa. So let's see. Ginger's gone! Bobo. I want Bobo back. I just want my Bobo. Can we get Bobo back? Please get Bobo back, please. Did, did it work? Did it work? I hate this. I quit. <laughs> I, I I just quit. <laughs> I'm not going to deal with it anymore. Sonata, you're going to call this guy. I thought it worked, but you know what? I'm just done with it. We may try and get Bobo back later. But right now, all I want to do is just, I want to get a horse whether we have to adopt it or not. And what just happened? What broke? What broke? What broke? Did you break the computer? Please tell me you broke your own computer. Okay, good. You broke, if you broke, you did. Okay. And then after that, you can repair it. <laughs> Try and repair it yourself. <laughs> uh. So she never did get to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Yorb, your Poma Uh. Okay, so it doesn't feel like coming over. So we'll give it a while. We'll have a uh, Sonata come downstairs, and why don't you practice painting? Wait, no, no, no. You wanted to learn the writing skills, so we'll. I'll let you borrow Nerd's computer. Nerd's computer, and just kind of like a practice writing. And Nerd's, what I want you to do is. Uh, I know I placed a riding stable somewhere. I yeah, there it is, right there. What's this? Tony got a raise. And okay, no. Uh, I want to just. I at least want to just see how much horses cost we can see how long we gotta save because I know that we can't afford one right now with just 3,000 but I want to see how much a good horse would be so we can save it Uh, after you do that, I want you to call this guy again and maybe invite him out. We will zoom in on nerds. And we're going to start recording. Okay, okay, I don't know where we are. I don't know what happened. That was, that was strange. So nerds has ridden her bike up here and we are about to see how much a good horse is going to cost. Because I love Bobo, I really did, but unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to get him back. Because by the time we'll be able to adopt pets again, I mean, already Jasper and Ginger have been readopted by other families. So, we want to find out how much a good horse is going to cost. Oh! Guys! Guys! 
We, we can actually afford to get one of these. Oh, guys, that's good. Okay. So Dipsy is shy, nervous, quiet, and agile. He's an ornery genius. She's an ornery genius. Or ornery, agile, fast, genius, and friendly. I don't know which one we want. Okay. So. I want to get Dipsy because I like the name. But. Actually. I think I want to go for uh, Fortune, cause she's she'd be a good all-around horse. She's agile and she's fast. She's expensive, but she's probably the best horse we're gonna get. I mean, Ornery is a bad trait, but that's okay. We can work through it. You know, a stubborn horse doesn't just because a horse is stubborn doesn't mean she's bad. I mean, the horse that I ride normally when I go for my lessons is so stubborn but I love him to death so we're gonna go with fortune yes so we're gonna keep the name fortune for now but um we may change it later so guys we bought a horse so we just bought fortune and I know it isn't centered. I couldn't get it centered. I'm sorry, but. <laughs> so we bought a horse. No, I know about riding. So we have a horse. So while we're here, I want us to come train. <sighs> Guys. I have like the biggest smile on my face right now. Okay, so it's not apparently about to ask this guy out. So let's let's meet him. The little in the area. Let's go to the diner. Okay. So yes, yeah, she has the handiness skill. So are you going to actually do it? Ah! Jerk. What a jerk. So we have a horse and look at how pretty she is. Can we? Can we not train? Let's try and get him to jump. And we're going to be extra careful with fortune. Whistle while you police. The whistle is a very important tool of your trade. As such, your boss thinks it's very important for you to read advanced whistle techniques. Nah, I don't think so. I'm so happy. So, nerds, you want to learn the writing skill. Yes. So, can you train for racing yet? No. Um, why don't you, can you go for a ride? Let's, let's get the horse free rein. It's not a good idea. Well, actually, no, let's not do that because with the low riding skill, that's never a good idea. So let's, uh, no, don't throw a rider. No, don't be mean. We can promise that. So what I want you to do is I want you to go for a ride. 
So, Tony uh, got a raise, it looks like, or a promotion. Yay! So, she and Mick should be coming home soon. So, Sonata, why don't you come and how is your needs? You need to de-stress, so why don't you come watch some TV? And, Tony, how about you come work out, do strength training? So we bought a horse, guys. I you you don't even know the biggest smile on my face right now. Okay, I I don't know. I mean, sure, I miss Bobo, and I think I would like to get him back if we can. But I'm just so happy to have the horse because the career path that I want nerds to follow is um uh. I want her to hang on a minute. Sorry about that. <laughs> um So I want you to uh ride here. Let's bring the horse home. So Sonata, what are you watching? You were watching Action channel it looks like. So yeah, I have s saddle butt. Um, when you get home, when you want to, you want to give a gift to Tony. Do you have anything you can give this gift to Tony? Oh, my game freezes. Oh, my game is breaking. You have a give us a gift to Tony. <laughs> you just get rid of that. <laughs> I don't know what that song is. So Mick is back and Mick is a full bone police officer now. So what are you? You're just walking? Trot. It's easier. And I'll probably change the tack later. Oh, wait, you are trotting. Okay. So, you want to learn the jumping skill. And Nerds wants to learn the racing skill. Or the riding skill. Or take a class in the riding skill. So, I like that Nerds is learning about horses. Go ahead and give your gift to Tony. <laughs> Hope I don't get copyright for this song. <laughs> let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, stop that. And let's change this channel. Uh huh. Oh. Okay, Tony, are you done working out? Okay. Let's, uh, let's turn uh. off. Recording stopped. So that's probably a sign we need to go ahead and end the episode. So I'm just gonna leave it here, guys. Uh, okay, so she got a gift. Cool. Okay, so, uh, yeah. We are going to end this episode here. Uh, Go ahead and slap that like button if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content. Um, we will, uh, oh, you can follow me on Google Plus Fin Fiction, Twitter, and Instagram. Links to that will be down in the description below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Nerds out.